Welcome back to Fast Freddy RC, and today we are looking at my Tamiya Cascadia Evo in mid-build. I got to the point where I am installing the MFC-01 unit. I bought an attack radio uh, for it, four channel uh, radio for it, uh, discovered I was having issues. Uh, one of the servos wasn't working. I think I may need different servos uh, in order for this to work. There was a lot of issues, let's just say that. So it got to this stage, I started working on other projects and I stopped. Well, then something very interesting happened. I discovered a radio that had been specifically made for the semi-trailers that Tamiya produced back in 2018. It is a new radio, but it is not available for the North American marketplace. For some reason, the FTC won't allow it to be brought in or mass produced and, and shipped into America, but you can order it. So I have done that. And I picked up this fine spec 2.4. Uh, this radio is specifically designed for any and all of the MFC units. So if you have the, the 4x4 trucks, you have a tank, you have the MFC01, MFC03, this radio works with all of them and and it is already built with the presets in mind so it literally is designed to be plug and play so what i want to do and i haven't even opened it myself is i'm going to open this and we're going to take a look at the radio and i'm going to show you what i mean and I think what will end up happening after that is I'll then be able to work, go back to working on this because I'm loving uh, what I've seen so far with this, with this radio. So let's go take a look at this. Okay, so let's, let's open this up. So right off the top. Ah, so you can see here, this is the radio, uh, TR, or the receiver, TRU09, uh, 2.4 gig system, four channel receiver. So that's the receiver that comes with this. Put that back in there. Some details about it, like that. like it's coming out all at once. Oh, so that is the radio. Must be a plastic paper on there, but anyways, there is the radio. That is so cool. So let's just, because we can, we're going to put in some batteries here because I want to show you something with this. All right, so let's turn this on. Wow, okay, so it says model name, but it says menu. Okay, so we're going to hit OK. It says settings bind model memory RF on. Well, let's just hit settings. And it says button function. So I'm gonna hit okay again. Okay, we're gonna hit okay. Look, tank A, tank B, truck MFC01, pickup MFC02, truck MFC03, current settings. That means that this radio is 100% programmed for, de for whichever MFCO unit you have for your vehicle. This is cool. 
And as you can see, there are six buttons here for some of the button functions you might want. There, this is how you'll go through the menu system. On the top, you have buttons seven, eight, and on this side, nine and 10. That means that you have complete control over your MFC unit when this is specifically designed for your MFC unit. Now, obviously, I've got to do some playing around with this to really test it out. But if I set this up, as you can see, I'm going to go down to truck MFC01 and click OK. Now look, hazards is one, two, no action. Three is the horn, four, drive reverse, five, no action. Engine is on off is by pushing button six. Uh, let's go down, see if I can see more. Seven is light position. Eight is the horn. Nine is the horn for the coupler. 10 horn leg up. I mean, this is just too cool. So I'm going to be playing around with this to get this all working. So I'll, I'll endeavor to try and get a video out soon. Um, I do have a couple of different projects that I'm still working, but this is now going to be uh, one of the ones that will be on the top of the list because this is just too cool. So I'll just say watch out for another video because I am going to be working on this and setting this up so that that MFC unit is going to work so well with this controller. So yeah, I mean, you can see how this is all going to work. So that's the, that's the radio. I'm just going to turn that off. So there's, there's the radio. And then the other thing that's in the um, instructions is this. But you see, because this was only released or not released for the North American marketplace, it's all in Japanese. The entire instruction manual is going to be in Japanese. Now it's not going to matter because as I've just shown you, the menu screen is in English. So we're going to be able to play around with this and I'm going to be trying all sorts of different things, but everything's in English on the radio, just not in the manual. So again, this is just too cool. Um, I'll play around with this and we'll see you in another video.